family, and he blessed me with a uh, good congregation. All right. You guys don't make my job real hard. And, uh, and I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for uh, our deacon that smelt the gas. Right. I, I was thinking about the body, how God put things into the body for our uh, uses. Yeah. And I thank God for him that he was able to smell when some of us wasn't smelling. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I thank God for uh, Evangelist McWilliams when she saw the saints leaving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we can still have church. Yeah. Right. And, right. and so I think that that encouraged me. Amen. Yeah. Because we're living in a time now, uh, uh, not only the people don't want to come to church, you give them an opportunity to leave. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amen. And, and so it helps encourage me. We got all we got in the bush. Yes, it, it, it really Amen. encouraged me uh, to see that. To see that you're willing to stay and hear the word of God. And this is a beautiful day. Amen. You got oh, yeah. wind blowing. Mm -hmm. The sun, it's not too terribly hot yet. Nope. No, it ain't. And, and so we thank God for all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I won't be before you long. I, I thank God for each and every one of you that are here today. May God continue to bless you and watch over you. And I know some of us is going through some things in our life. But God is able. There is nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. Yeah. As Mother Birch made mention, you know, as you get older, uh, your body is not as strong as it was when you were young. Uh, but the Bible let us know that it's going to happen. Right. And that's just a part of getting up in age. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are encouraged to know that you get stronger in the Word of God. You get stronger... Mm -hmm. And the things that we go through. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And so this uh, morning, I want to talk to you about being a doer of the word. Uh, in James 1, 22, it says, "Be doers of the word, uh -huh. and not hearers only, uh, deceiving your own selves." Wow. And so it let us know that we are to be a doer of the word, uh -huh. and not just to hear the word. All right. And if you uh, do not do that, then you actually uh, deceive your own self. Mm -hmm. See, the Bible let us know there's a way that seems right to a man. It, it's amazing when people speak, they always feel that they're right. Whether they're right or wrong, they feel in their heart that they're right. But the Bible let us know that we can only depend upon God's power and strength in this life. And so we are to be strong and courageous in His cause. Not our own cause, but in His cause. And we are to put on the whole arm of God. And I know when you got up this morning, you went. In, if you were like me, you went into your closet and you had to decide, what am I going to put on? And we need to put on the whole armor of God if you're going to be able to stand uh, for Christ. Amen. And so to, to know that we don't stand in our own strength, Come on, Beth. Come on. but we stand in the strength and the power of God. Yes. Yes. And just because you come into the house of God and you're singing and you hear preaching, That's right. That's right. the only way it <laughs> saves you is for you to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right. Right. Put your trust and your confidence in Him. Amen. God is amazing. Because the Bible let us know it's not by our own works that we'll say, but it is because of what Christ did on the cross. He counted ungodly. Listen to what the scripture said. He justified the ungodly. And that is an amazing thing. That means that you got hope. I don't care what kind of life you've been living up to this point. You have hope in Christ. Because he had counted even the ungodly justified. And so we're saved by that grace. That grace have an influence on our heart. It don't mean that you keep doing everything you was doing. But it opens that door of opportunity to be adopted into the family of Christ. If you want to be a friend of God, then you have to be able to do this. The Bible says... Study to show yourself approved unto God. Yeah. A workman that need not be ashamed. 
uh, rightly divide uh, the word of truth. Hey, right. that is what's, what nourish your soul. Mm. And when he's talking about studying, he's not talking about just reading over. Right. Right. But it means to, that the best way to study God's word is to be a doer of the word. Yes. That is a part of that study. And, and so the Bible uh, let us know that when we rightly divide the word, that means cut it straight, right. put it in its rightful place. Right. Okay. Right. Um, the, the, the word study in the scripture means more than just reading it and trying to understand what it means. In order to get a full in-depth understanding uh, of the word, then you would have to look into other scriptures. Uh -huh. in, in the book of Josh. Uh, the first chapter in the eighth verse, it says, "Of uh, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thy shall meditate, meditate therein, day and night, that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shall make thy way prosperous, and then thou shall have good success. If you want to be prosperous in life." And have good success. It tells you to meditate. That means you have to look inwardly. Too many times people look outwardly. And when you look outwardly. You lose focus of what God wants you to do in your life. Uh, many times people find excuses. Why not to do what God has called them to do. And, and so if you can go on social media. You'll find right away there's people that. Don't want anything to do with church. Some say, well, I don't go to church because they want money. Mm. Well, if you look inside yourself, maybe money is your problem. Right. And, and so uh, the, 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 the word of God, the Bible said, is quick, is powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Joints and moral and is the discernment of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. You cannot know yourself until you apply the word of God to yourself. Amen. And I noticed that uh, before they came up with the nice mirrors we got today, that shows you a clear picture of yourself, uh -huh. they used to use a polished metal. Uh -huh. And it had kind of a distortion uh -huh. about who you really are. Right, mm -hmm. right. But when you apply the word of God to your life, it shows you who you really are. Can you stand yourself? If you take a good look at yourself, according to the Word of God, what will you find? And that question we have to ask ourselves. Because uh, Psalms 4 4 says, Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Be still means. Let God have His way. Hallelujah. Don't be talking back. See, people talk back about the things of God because they don't know and they don't understand. Mm -hmm. What people give is their own opinion. As our sister was saying, yeah, people don't want you to, why are you always talking about God? Why are you always talking about His Word? Because it reveals themselves. That's right, yeah. It reveals who you really are. Mm -hmm. And people can't stand who they really are. Right. And so many times they pretend to be what they're not. That's right. 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 And so he says, commune with your own heart. Yeah. Don't look at it. Before you start looking at everything and everybody else, mm -hmm. look at your own self. Mm -hmm. Check Hallelujah. yourself out first. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because when you get yourself Worship. right, mm -hmm. then I can do you right. That's right. right. Yeah. But if I, if I... Uh, don't have the discernment of who I am, well, then there's no way for me to help you. Right. Oh, that, Pastor. Glory Holy to God. Oh, and some say, well, church don't deliver. No, church yes. don't deliver, but Christ do. Oh, yes, do. And within the church, you'll find the body of Christ. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Oh, and so, uh, uh, many times, they've got to turn what they call slip saying. And I don't know if you guys saw the movie with uh, Ray, that Ray movie, and he was hooked on her, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he was twitching, and he was scratching, and the manager says, uh, your slip is shown. Mm -hmm. People slip are shown because of sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The slip is shown because of sin. You can't hide it. 
And even if you can cover it up from some people, you can't cover it up from God. That's right. Right. That's right. It, it, and, and so it, it's it's a uh, it's imperative that we examine ourselves first. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The Word of God is able to save souls, Amen. but we have to be able to receive it Amen. and receive it with gladness. Amen. And when we teach about holiness, it's because the Bible demands holiness. That's right. Yes, right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we are to be uh, studiers of God's word. How can you apply God's word if you don't know what God's word is saying? Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the Bible talks about the ground. It, it, one of the things uh, they're going through over there in Afghanistan, when they're moving out of Afghanistan, mm -hmm. they wanted to give those people our values, mm -hmm. what we believe, and what we hold dear. Not realizing that ground over there don't support it. Right. Right. Now you might have some Christians over there, but it don't support those values. And we think that if we do somebody good and we give them some money or something, they're going to love us. No, everybody won't love you. Everybody's not going to love you because you're trying to change them. Unless you fall in love with God. Because you can do a lot of good things in this life that don't mean that you're okay with God. All right. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You have to do it according to God's program. And one of the things that chokes out the word, the Bible says the cares of this life. What's happening right now with that coronavirus. Don't allow that to choke out the word in your life. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. The adversary will paralyze you if you allow the word of God to be choking out of your life. You can know the word. But you have to apply it to your life. Amen. If God don't do anything else for me, He's done enough. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. The, doc the doctor said you only got a month. If you're in Christ. Hallelujah. If you are in Christ ah. Jesus, the Bible says, Hallelujah. whether I live, I'm in His. I'm ah. His. When I live, and I, when I die, I'm Woo! in His. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And when you compare this life to eternity, it's just a little space of time. Because eternity is a long, long time. Long, long, long time. Yes, sir. Glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Don't allow the word to be choked out. Many things can affect the word that. God has put in your life. Amen. Hold on to it, saints. Yeah. Be faithful. Yeah. Believe God. Take God at His word. Yes, he has never failed hey. at His word. Never. He watches yeah. over His word and see to it that it won't fall to the ground. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, if it haven't happened yet, Just wait on it. Wait on That's it. all you have to do is wait on it. And it will surely come to pass. Yes, it Glory to God. Preach the word, preach the word, Pastor. The apostles know, they knew they was leaving. But then they warned us. They warned us. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And Colossians 2, 6-7 says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in Him. Yeah. These type of people do receive the word, however they don't walk in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be rooted and build it up in Him and establish in the faith Hallelujah. as ye have been taught. Yeah. And these are they which sow among thorns, mm -hmm. such as hear the word, and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches. That's Amen. mine. Yeah. Uh -huh. The deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things. That's everything else. My Lord. And what do it do? It chokes the word. Yeah. 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 And that's what makes it unfruitful. Right. Why are people unfruitful? It's because they have the law things to choke out the word. The word in their life. 
Hallelujah. In Mark 10, 20 through 22, and he said unto him, Master, all these things have I observed from my youth. This was the, the, the rich man that comes to Jesus. Uh -huh. And then Jesus, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thy life, go thy way, sell whatsoever thy have, and give to the poor. All right. And thou shalt have treasures in heaven. Mm -hmm. And come and take up the cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. The focus wasn't on him having poor folks. Mm -hmm. You know what Jesus was focusing on? What really mattered to him. Mm -hmm. He was putting his finger right on his problem. Uh -huh. It reminded me my first time I went to a chiropractor. I, I, I wasn't sure what I believed in chiropractic. All right. Mm. <laughs> but I had I was hurting in my body, and I kept feeling back there and pushing, trying to figure out exactly where it was. And I couldn't find it. And when I went in that chiropractor <laughs> office, he took his finger. And you know what he did? He poked right on it. Wow. <laughs> and I said, if nothing else, he know where it's at. <laughs> Jesus knows where it's at. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. He know you where your true problem is. Uh -huh. And that's why we should meditate on his word. Uh -huh. To get a, a, a good good view of who you really are. Uh -huh. Don't let nobody else tell you who you are. Uh -huh. Don't even believe what you got to say about yourself. Well. Uh -huh. But apply the word of God. Uh -huh. And you'll find out who you really are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You'll find your purpose in life. Uh -huh. All right. It's for you to seek the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And this man says, I heard and kept the law from his youth up. However, his position meant more to him. Amen. He actually thought, I kept it. But something brought him to Jesus. Something brought that man to Jesus. Even though in himself he thought, he had did everything since he was young. And he asked that question. <coughs> but when Jesus told him to go and get rid of all you got and give it to the poor and follow me, take up your cross. God has a cross for each and every one of us. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I can't look at your cross right. and think that's me. God has a cross. I remember Pastor Dalton told me once. Brother James, you know, God got a suit. That she used a suit for you. And she said, if your sleeve is too long, he's gonna just stretch your arm first. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's too short, he's gonna whack some of it off. <laughs> but don't think he's gonna change that suit. I learned a lesson. Remember I was talking to her one time, man, I was just a going. I can't remember what it was about, but I do remember she stopped me and she said, Brother James, I said, do that come from the book of James? <laughs> and that's what threw me because that really is the book of James. <laughs> and I said, no, no ma'am. And I just kept on. <laughs> and so then she said it again. Well, I got it the second time. <laughs> and that's what you find people doing. The Bible says when you speak, it should be from the articles of God. All right, you should speak right. from the principles of, of God. You should speak the word of God, even when people don't like it. Right. <laughs> because when you're speaking from yourself, what book are you coming from? All right. yeah, now, you're giving an opinion. Right. It's not coming from the word of God. It's coming from your opinion. Right. And your opinion, it's not going to deliver anybody. Wow. Show enough now. Glory to God. Glory Thank you, Jesus. God. <laughs> and so if you want to be, bring forth fruit, watch that ground. Right. Watch that ground. Before you start finding fault and blaming everything yeah. and everybody else, uh -huh. look inside yourself. Mm -hmm. The Bible says when you land on your bed, mm -hmm. meditate, recall to mind what God said about that situation. And take a good look at yourself. Just don't the Bible say examine ourselves and see if we're still in the faith. God's not interested in you saying you say. God is the only one to know who say. That's right. Hallelujah. You are his servant. Can't nobody judge you as a servant of God. 
because people do the same thing and have a different reason for doing it. And God knows why you're doing what you're doing. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so continue to be blessed. Thank God for each and every one of you. I think I said Sunday, we, this coming week, we're going to be fasting. And we're going to be seeking the Lord to continue to uh, increase us in his knowledge. Mm -hmm. and increase us in the word. As we study God's word, I pray that he will help us rightly divide the word of truth. Because when people speak, they don't wait until they get knowledge to speak. They speak without knowledge. Mm -hmm. to, to just give you an example, you can go to the doctor. You can pay the doctor hundreds of dollars. You go home and you can call up so-and-so, and they said, uh, well, I heard you can do this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can take this and that. Yeah. I'm thinking, why did I spend all that money for the doctor? I could have just called you up. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Have you considered that? It's all right to talk sometimes, but sometimes you got to think. Why did they go to school all those years when I can just call you up? Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and then the same one that I told you how to do it, guess what happened when they get in that situation? They go to the doctor. Hey! Uh, uh, they got to add that remedy to the doctor. <laughs> Yeah, you Amen. can do that, but I tried this, and I tried that. Oh, well, when you get done with all of that, guess who you got to depend on? <laughs> you, got, you got to depend on the Lord. Amen. You have to depend on the Lord. Amen. That's the only somebody you can really depend on. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so God bless you. God continue to be with you. Amen.